Hello, everybody. This is uh, Joe. I went to the Mohegan Sun fishing and outdoor show today. This is me walking through the entrance. I, we came in from the winter garage and came in, I don't know the way, but from the winter garage and walked down the entrance way. Beautiful blue carpet. I really, I really enjoyed the carpet. <clears throat> These guys had no idea who I was, but uh, they're fine with me recording. I didn't read that sign. What I didn't realize is going into the show, they didn't take credit cards at the front ticket place, cash only. Thank goodness I had $12. Here I'm going to give my ticket to the lovely guy. I'm recording. He's got no problem with that, so that's great. So this is my first boom. There's the, I guess, exhibition hall and all the vendors. <clears throat> Bathrooms on the left and right-hand side. What I decided to do was I decided to walk up and down each aisle and just take a video <clears throat> of each vendor and then kind of see what was going on and go back and see what I wanted to see. This is the, the big fish tank they have. This guy is demoing lures, excuse me, and retrieval rates. Um, not a big crowd there, but uh, certainly... You know some folks uh, he was talking about fishing plastics and in that tank are it's freshwater so it's crappies and bass and all that and this guy that just asked a question he was asking a question about fishing warm water and this guy was talking about going fishing the currents and tides and all that so this is just me walking around getting some video nobody seemed to mind me taking a video <clears throat> I was kind of surprised that there weren't a lot of um, fishing gear related uh, vendors there. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of freshwater, and I, I get that. I mean, it's we're kind of I mean we're by the ocean, but I would have expected more. I did I did want to talk to the vineyard wind people, Hartford Current. I had no desire to talk to them. What is this place? Jerky events, no idea. I didn't need uh, windows, so I didn't stop by and talk to him. I don't like seeing empty booths. Sea uh, Deck Marine products, I don't really know what they are. Um, this guy was giving food samples. I'm not sure what it was, but I didn't really have any desire to stop and <clears throat> mingle with him. This is this guy was selling alpaca socks, which I thought about getting a pair for my wife, but I didn't see any pretty colors, so I didn't get any. Of course, you've got some fishing t-shirts, little kids. This area right here was just like the bennies of fishing gear. There's people inside, who needs help? Who needs help? Come up here, who's ready to ring out? Who needs help? And it's like buckets of stuff that they got, you know, obviously wholesale and it was kind of a, I did go through there eventually, but um, it was just kind of a little, mm. This is fishing charters. They had some, some, you know, some gear you could buy. <clears throat> I don't know what that little tank was. Uh, more fishing gear, you know, all freshwater stuff. I was looking for salt water because I'm going to Costa Rica pretty soon. I'll be doing some surf casting. That's the other side of that wholesale bargain bin type area if i put the sound on it you would hear just it's a carnival pretty much <clears throat> lots of folks this guy was selling trinkets and such some glue he's showing the strength of this glue he has which i, I don't know how relevant it is to outdoor stuff this is kind of a veteran only uh, deal here. I'm not sure. I guess it's outdoor stuff, but there's, you know, they sold some chairs as you can see there. Um, nothing kind of, I think it was not a very well placed um, uh, vendor. This booth here is, they do demonstrations in there, and I'm not sure you'll be able to see it here, but I think. I think they're holding, yeah, you can't really see it, but they're holding a little alligator in there. 
So I'm going back up the aisle, and then there's, you know, your sunglass manufa- uh, sunglass vendors with all these scarves and things, which are just all junk. <clears throat> and then kayaks, which is relevant to fishing and outdoors, which was great. You know, some more kayaks. A lot of flannel today, a lot of flannel. It was cold out today. I don't blame them. <clears throat> and we have plastics. I did stop in here to look at some plastics for casting. But, you know, I thought the prices were kind of high, which I was kind of surprised about. But, you know, I don't have to buy them there. So I'll just go online and go talk to the Amazon. So we've kind of been by here, but here's another place. I stopped here, these these IL or IRT rods or reels. Anyway, uh, guy tying flies here. What's this guy doing? More fly tying. I stopped and talked to this guy here and I looked at his lures for a little bit. <clears throat> Walking back down the aisle. Thirty percent off all rods. This section here is very like a like you would see at a carnival. Knives and these crazy signs. You know, I thought about getting my kids a couple of signs, but I just didn't feel like it. I guess they're called cabin signs. I didn't know that. Until I watched my own video. So the Connecticut Fish and Game people were there. They had a nice a bunch of nice trophies in there, which was kind of nice to see. They had a lot of literature. Pamphlets and such. Then this vendor coming up here to the right. I don't know what this was. It was military something related to healthcare. And this guy here, same thing. This, these folks here were selling food. I, I don't know what it was. I didn't have any interest in buying boxed food. I, I never will. Um, oh, there's a bar. That was fantastic. I didn't stop there because I hadn't had lunch yet. <clears throat> this woman's got her hand in a kid's mouth. This is the demonstration pool. Uh, I guess they demo casting. And then there's a kayak there or a, a standing board where they would go out and, you know, paddle board and show you how to cast or, or whatever. This was a hunting lodge. Uh, they had some nice trophies in there. Uh, this next one was, what is that? No idea. Uh, a lot of sport fishing places there, a lot of locals, which was nice to see. <clears throat> This guy sold knives, really weird, like, like had hundreds of knives out. Uh, these are all freshwater lures there. Um, more fishing charters, learn how to dive. The In Fisherman magazine was there. I could have signed up and got some free gifts, but I didn't want to. This is, that's Cabela's right there. If you signed up for Cabela's and or a Cabela's credit card, you would have got like a, a t-shirt, a hat, a flashlight and been entered into win a prize. I wish they actually had some gear out there. Uh, this is some kind of hunting lodge someplace. This trophy here was kind of cool. Uh, let's see, what's coming up here? Oh, some more fishing stuff. Oh, this is the Wicked Tuna people from the Travel, uh, from Discovery Show. And safes for your firearms. Some Timberlands there. Sweet. Walking by the pool. Wasn't that crowded, and I was here approximately, I don't know. I was there at 12.20, maybe? Oh, she's moving out of my way. Walking back towards the bar. I'm not getting anything. La da dee, la da da. And what do we have here? I don't know. This is spices or something. They had a bunch of feeding 
troughs here. People were up there just grabbing stuff and eating. I did not stick my hand in there. Okay, here's some comfy footwear and hats, you know, shearling, sheepskin type things. Then there was this emergency equipment stuff. It was kind of weird. It was like tactical gear, but emergency something. Uh, not sure what this was. Looks like t-shirts and such. Another hunting fishing lodge. Hemp CBD. I didn't try anything there because I don't think that I needed to. I did stop here afterwards and get my boys some Western Big Plank jerky. And it was three pieces for 10 bucks. I promised them I would get them that. Uh, broken gear, no idea what that is. But uh, clothing, didn't stop there. Uh, this next one, charter boats. I would say, I would probably, hey, 10 charter boat places, kayaks, fishing kayaks, which were awesome. You know, they're, they're kind of cool. I don't know that if I, I don't know if I would do it or not. More kayaks. No idea what this is. Didn't stop there. Some fishing poles. Oh, these are fishing flags, like for your boat. So you could get a, uh, that's my cat. What's up, Loki? What's this? This is fishing charter. In terms of deals, th there weren't, I would say the, the, the best deals you could find were on fishing rods. Like there were rods for like 50 bucks that were 20% off. They're pen rods and they're pretty good rods. I didn't look, some of the reels I looked at, I wanted a watertight reel, but they didn't have any. I guess now that I look at it, there were a bunch of fishing things there, but I was looking for more big bait, surf casting type lures. So we're going to round the corner here. Nice red shoes there. And this is some kind of, come on. This is some kind of uh, internet thing where you can stream movies. I don't know what it was, but it's definitely not related to outdoors. <clears throat> this is a charter boat. Another charter boat. The NRA, I stopped by and said hello. Uh, sunglasses, I wanted to go back there, but I forgot to. Some truck caps. Guys underwear. Those are definitely boxers. That's a hunting lodge. Um, lures and such, that's a hunting lodge, that's a fishing lodge, excuse me. Um, then there's the the removes pet hair from everywhere. Hello puppy and They were demoing on carpets and such. This is kind of a wildlife place for organized trips No idea what that is There's the wheel of fortune at the Ameriprise place where you can have a, a, a financial advisor call you up for free maple sugar maple products I have no idea what this is, but these poor people have to spend the entire day there. Oh, you could have bought a, there you go. You could have bought a, a umbrella covered whirlpool. What's this? Oh, gutter guards. And I think that was like taffy and stuff or not taffy, but um, uh, what's that stuff called? Uh, fudge. And there, again, is the tactical gear that we saw before. And that's the back. There's nothing there. They had a couple trucks on display. There was one archery section that you see there. Everything, all your archery needs were right there. I figured I'd swing by the boats, see what I couldn't afford, which was pretty much everything. Although it's... I was dreaming. Let's see, the white one's not bad. And that one's not bad, but no head, that's gonna be a problem. I can't bring the wife out on that. There's no bathroom on it. But then if you go and get a bathroom on it, it's gonna be an expensive boat. 
but this could, you know, definitely me and Luca and Joey could go out and tool around the Thames and chase stripers. A little bigger boat. I like that blue. I didn't go up in any of the boats, um, although I did want to go up on this one. It just looked nice. And I think, no, this one was $102,000. I'm looking at the price now, I'm not looking at the engine, so forgive me. I, I'll move along here in a second. And there I go. And I think that says I could have had that boat for $400 a month, probably for, you know, 75 years. A couple of salesmen. I've never heard of this boat manufacturer before, but the prices included the trailer and the, and the engine as well. Um, oh, this boat was $102,000, I think. No, I, yeah, it was definitely... Well, whatever, I don't, maybe not one or two, but it was 600 bucks a month. All right, this is uh, some kind of display here associated with that big great white shark. I walked by it later on. There was a guy trying to reel in a three-year-old. That's really bizarre. Uh, so I went over and I said, you know what? I've got my camera. Let's see what this shark looks like. And I don't think that's a realistic size. No, it's kind of short. And these boats here, I didn't walk through this area because they're like bass boats. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of a bass boat. I have no need for it. I mean, I'm not going to ever use it. I need a saltwater boat. You know, they've got the flashy red sparkles with silver and, you know, these hyped up colors and just crazy. Heading on through, pontoon boats, boats. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll stop in, but I didn't. You know, I guess pontoon boat on a lake would be nice, but I'm not gonna ever vacation on a lake. So there's one more section I haven't gone through. I'm gonna head that way. It's way in front of us. I'm using my GoPro Hero 6 Black with my, um, the GoPro gimbal. Oh, here's some lures. Um, I was looking for, you know, deals on lures. I'm like, you know what, if I find something around 10 bucks, you know, like show deals, I'm gonna get it. But all the lures were like 15 to 30 bucks. And it's like, I don't need to spend that much money on a lure I'm gonna lose. I was looking at this white one up here. Yeah, there it is. So now I'm gonna finish off the rest of the show. So I think the show was okay. Um, I wish there were more saltwater fishing products. I wish there were more vendors. It, it seemed, I mean, I, I walked the whole show in 20 minutes to take this video. And I, I just wish there was more. I don't know what though. Uh, it seems like when my dad and I went to the one in Worcester, there were more vendors, it was bigger. Like you would stop and talk to everybody. Um, but now it seems like there was enough kind of non uh, fishing related things in between the fishing things where you would kind of like eventually just walk and walk and walk and walk. Well, that's it, bye.